How's it going? This is uh, actually take two because I just tried <clears throat> I just tried putting this video up and well right now it is 19% uploaded and it has another 91 minutes to go so I've decided that the 1.19 gig video is just too big so hopefully what I've done is well first of all let me rewind I'm not using my telephone I usually use my phone to record all my videos on that's why everything's been kind of a grainy low budget really shitty look so I decided I want to change things up a little bit I've been seeing a lot of other people's videos they're all HD and looks real nice you know because they got the cheddar cheddar to you know afford good cameras and all that so I decided I wanted to step it up a little bit I'm using my Sony Cybershot figure I'd give it a chance see how this works out if it looks a little better sounds a little better just kind of upgrading a little bit, I guess you could say. <clears throat> so, here we are recording with my camera. I already just did this, uh, you know, update video, and I go to upload it, and it's going to take or freaking ever to upload. So, yeah, this isn't going to work for me at all. So here in a minute, I'm about to cancel this upload if I can. I don't know if it'll let me, but either way, uh, yes, leave page. There we go. Now I don't have to deal with that. Um, okay, so updates that I just went over that I have to go back over again. <clears throat> Glasses. Yep. For the rest of my life. I tried going in to get the LASIK surgery for... You know, so I don't have to get glasses anymore. Unfortunately, I have astigmatism in my left eye. That means they could go ahead and they could do the surgery, you know, but if they did it, they, the odds that they'd, that it could either make my eye worse, or my stigmatism, stigmatism worse, or the fact that it would, um, I could do it, but my I might, you know, continue what it's doing now, and the the surgery would be no good. I'd be back to glasses. So, stuck with glasses. The other thing that I've tried to get done is my shoulders. I've had troubles with my shoulders for the past uh, couple of years now. <clears throat> my right shoulder started back in 2010. It was, uh, it felt like I had a really bad knot which developed into a chronic pain that I couldn't get rid of. And I tried medication, I tried, oh god, I tried, you know, I was on profiles off and on all year, hopefully resting it up enough to work it better, and it just, nothing was happening. Eventually, at the end of 2010, I went in, got the cortisone shot done, right before we deployed, which helped clear up the inflammation and the pain that I was having, but, you know, every now and then it'll still hurt. Well, about midway through the deployment in Afghanistan, my left shoulder started to do the exact identical pain. And I, I got a shot while I was down there, and it kind of helped, but it didn't. And I just had to suck it up and soldier on because there was nothing that could be done in Afghanistan to help my shoulder. So... Fast forward, we get back from Afghanistan, I go to the hospital, I get an x-ray done, and they find that the AC joint where my clavicle, just this shoulder bone, right, the, the collarbone, connects into my shoulder, all in this area, it's, uh, it's, uh, chipped away, I've got bone spurring, and, and I got a little piece kind of floating up here above it, and... The doc told me, you see a lot of that from guys who do a lot of weightlifting, like bench press, which I did in high school, or, you know, us in active military lifestyle, you know, this motion right here, doing push-up, or, or, you know, bench press, this motion right here puts a lot of stress, and it's deteriorated down the bone in, the, in, in that joint. Now, the doctor said he could do the surgery, the, the surgeon said he could do the surgery, but the problem would be is 
I'm 27 years old. I'm showing signs of arthritis in my shoulders. I'm way too young for this. And if I were to do the surgery, A, I would have to back off on my activity lifestyle to because, you know, if I didn't, it would just make it worse again. And on top of that, it would, um, it, it's, it's something that the surgeon wouldn't normally do unless I was like, say, 40 or 50. At 27, it's too early because he could go and work on it, but there's no telling that it'll cure it. That it, it wouldn't get worse down the road because he's chipped away at it and now it starts it again. So now I'm taking, right now it's Mobic. It's an anti-inflammation uh, pain reliever. And it's that's actually helped me a lot. I don't feel the pain like I used to. I get little phantom pains here and there. But he says because the, the Mobic is working, he wants to keep me on that and not try to get into the surgery. So my shoulders are jacked up. My eyes are jacked up. Ain't nothing the army can do about to fix it. Story of my life. So, uh, what else was I going to go on about? Um, oh, yes. I, I've been dealing with behavior health. I've been trying to get things straightened out upstairs. Uh, one of the biggest issues that and a lot of you already know is my... Oh, how would you put it? Uh, my issues dealing with losing my grandfather. Well, my new behavior health lady, who's pretty much going to be my bridge until I can start seeing Major Trenta again. Uh, Major Trenta worked with me throughout my deployment in Afghanistan, and until we could set up actual weekly appointments again, I'm seeing somebody else for the time being. And she she's pretty cool. I like this new one. Uh, she's a lot better than the last one I was started to see. Anyways, she and I had a session, our first session, uh, Wednesday, and she gave me a book. I, I, I gave her, you know, some of the, the bits and pieces of my problems, and she gave me a book to try called I Wasn't Ready to Say Goodbye. It's a... Uh, it's a book for surviving, coping, and healing after the sudden death of a loved one. Yeah. I tried reading it on Friday. It's Sunday. I got work in the morning. Yay. I tried reading it on Friday night, and that just did not go over well at all. It was actually really depressing and just made me depressed. Maybe it gets better at the end. Who knows? So, uh, there's that. What else? Um, still dealing with my insomnia. I still have trouble sleeping. Uh, Ambien has so far been the only thing that really works for me. I have this other stuff that I was told to try in um, variation of the Ambien, which I'm out of until Tuesday. So now i got to use this stuff. Uh, mini press, also known as Prazosin. Well, we'll see how this works. Uh, what else? I've got Zoloft. I've got bad uh, anxiety, so I'm taking Zoloft for my anxiety, depression, mild anger issues. That I'm actually doing really good at keeping controlled because I've always been controlled on my anger issues, but. There's times that I've, <clears throat> I've discovered if I don't take my Zoloft that I get very, very angry. It's not good. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't want to have that. I am in the process of trying to quit smoking. Uh, I'm, I'm tired of smoking. I enjoy smoking, but I don't. If that makes sense. So, I'm, I'm working on that. And, uh... Yep, that's about it that I got going on right about now. I'm just trying to improve myself to make myself better physically, emotionally, uh, mentally. And uh, it's it's a struggle. I'm I'm struggling with it, but I'm getting there. I'm trying. Uh, 
there's one thing you all should know by now. I ain't no quitter. I ain't never quit nothing in my life. I ain't about to start now. So, that's about all I got going on with this update. Um, next, this coming Friday, we're doing a military ball. I've never been to one, so this is going to be interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I've always enjoyed wearing my Class A's. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll, I'll get a video with my Class A's on, kind of show them off. You know, we'll see. But uh, I might try to get some video from when we do the ball itself. Just just to, you know, throw some more stuff out there for y'all. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. And uh, I'm going to try to get like a video editing program or something so I can kind of spice up my videos a little bit more because like mine, it's straight click on you listen to me ramble for 10-15 minutes. That's it. Other people, they got, you know, pans and cuts and, you know, other stuff. So, I'll see what I can, you know, upgrade to, you know, be able to do more with my videos than what I currently am, because I would like to go further and improve upon what I have. I mean, that's the way it is supposed to be. You should always try to strive to do better. So, that's, that's something I'm looking into right now, is making things different kind of spice things up because, well, it's no longer the 88 mic training AIT class what to look out for. It's become my life on YouTube now. So, whatever. Uh, yeah. Yep, that's about it for this video. So, I'm going to be chucking the deuces, catch y'all on the flip side, and, uh, Keep subscribed to my channel, write, write me questions, come on, get some interaction so I have something to bring up a little bit more often in my uh, videos. And uh, yeah, definitely the last videos with the 12 year old, check his stuff out, man. That kid was phenomenal. I so wish I could have gotten a uh, sweet child of mine on video. Oh man. But hey, you know, that's the way it is. Check out his stuff. Go blow him up. That kid is phenomenal. He needs to go. I mean, he is the future of rock and roll. Make that stuff happen. Yeah. Okay, so, like I said, chug at the deuces, and I will catch you all on the next video. Peace.